Hi there, everybody, and welcome to the series of lessons on using Google presentations. In this set of lessons, we're going to be walking step by step through all the amazing features that are available as part of Google presentations. Now, in case you're not sure, Google presentations is the Google equivalent of applications like Microsoft PowerPoint. So this is where you can come to make presentations for your classroom or projects and such like. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is open up a brand new presentation. And through the series of, le of lessons, we're going to be creating a presentation about linear equations. So let's get started. Now I'm here inside my Google Docs uh, Drive folder already. If you're not quite sure how to get here, what I suggest you do is that you go ahead and find the series of lessons that we did on using Google Documents. The first few lessons in that series, we touched on how to open Drive and how to set up your accounts. But for now, I'm going to assume that you know how to do all of that. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is create our new presentation. So as normal, go to the big red Create button, click on Presentation. And that's going to open up a new blank presentation. Now the first thing that, is, that Google is going to ask you is what theme you'd like to apply to this presentation. Now, it just so happens that we want to make a lesson plan. So here's a lesson plan theme. So let's go ahead and check. Click on that theme to select it. Now, you'll notice down here at the bottom that you can import additional themes. Now, what this means is you can go and you can create your own master theme with your own colors and backgrounds and things, and then import that presentation as a new theme. But we're not going to do that in this lesson. The other thing I want you to notice is that we can select the slide size. It defaults to widescreen 16 by 9, which is more or less the same as your modern day television. But we're going to go ahead and create a standard presentation of 4 by 3. Click on OK, and our new presentation is going to get loaded for us. The first slide that it presents to us is the title slide. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the title which is linear equations. And linear equations is a section from grade 10 mathematics. Oops, let's just spell grade correctly. So we've started a new presentation, and we've got the first title slide in that presentation. Obviously, we want to add a little bit more. So let's go ahead and see how we can add in new slides. Now, you add in new slides in one of two ways. Either you can click on this new slide button in the, in the ribbon, or you can right click and from the menu select new slide. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now it has added a brand new slide to my presentation and it's ready for me to click and type text. But I've prepared some text that I want to enter in this, so I'm just going to paste that down there. Now we've got text that has been added to our presentation but it needs a little bit of formatting. Now, if you've watched the series of lessons on Google Documents, you would have seen how we go ahead and format text. All the formatting options in presentations are pretty much exactly the same. So let's format this text. The first thing I'm going to do is select the text and choose the font style that I want, which is Cambria. Change the font size, make that 30. Ah, that's looking pretty good. But you'll notice that I've got some spelling mistakes. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on those underlined words and select the correct spelling from the menu that appears. Remember, that's a right click menu to access that. And the last thing that I want to do for now is just change the font color. Now I'm going to go ahead to the font, the, 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 the text color drop down here. And you'll notice that because I've selected a preset theme, it comes with some nice preset colors that all go together. And I want this dark blue theme color over here. OK, that's looking pretty good. So, so far, so good. We've uh, created a new presentation. We've added a slide. And we've added and formatted some text to that slide. Now, this slide needs a heading. And exactly the same as you would do in Microsoft PowerPoint, you just click and type to add in your heading. Let's have a look at what that looks like. So I'm just going to click to add a title, as it says. And the title I want to use is, for this slide, Revising. Well, that needs a capital, I think. Linear Equations. But the other thing that I want you to notice is that this, in my opinion, is not a terribly effective slide. 
Now, you may have heard of the phrase death by PowerPoint. And kind of for me, that means PowerPoint presentations that are just reams and reams of text up on the screen. That's not what a good presentation is. When people are listening to you presenting something, they're engaging with you. You don't really want them to be engaging with lots of text on a screen. Because the human brain can really only process one thing at a time. So either they're going to be listening and engaging with you, or they're going to be reading lots of text on the screen. And I think we want our focus of attention to be on the presenter. So let's take a look at the slide and see how we can improve it to make it more user-friendly. I think that there is far too much text here. Let's go ahead and see if we can find and highlight the important things about this slide. Well, I think that this is one important phrase, that linear equations is about finding values for the unknowns. So let's highlight that and make it bold. The other important thing I think is on this slide is this phrase here, balance the scale. So highlight that and make it bold. The rest of the text is pretty superfluous. We don't really need it. So let's go ahead and delete it. So we're going to delete that part of the text, and we're going to delete that part of the text. And the last thing I want to do, just put that on a new line and make this a bulleted list. Exactly the same as Google Documents. Select the text from the, the bulleted list menu option. Click on that, and it'll make a nice bulleted list of values for us. Now suddenly, this is a slide that people can engage with while they're also engaging with you. But there's one more thing that I think we can do to make this slide pop and really hold people's attention. If you notice here, one of the things we said was that linear equations is about balancing the scale, the scale of that equation. So to insert an image, let's just put our pointer in the, in the right place. We're going to insert the image inside this text box. Insert image, and uh, I've got an image already prepared that is in my Google Drive, so I'm going to select it. But remember, just by the way, that you can upload an image at this stage, or if you've got the URL to the image that you like on the internet, you can insert the URL. But I've got it already on my Google Drive, so I'm just going to select that. I'm just going to insert the image for me. There it is. Now, we can make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to grab the s corner handles and make that a bit bigger, make it fit nicely. The next thing I want to do is just align this in the middle. Now, just notice that as I move this image around, you get these red bars that appear. That red bar over there is signifying to me now that this image is in the middle of the slide, both horizontally and vertically. But I want to move it down just a tad and keep it uh, vertically aligned. So that image is now in. And this slide, revising linear equations, I think is now a much better slide. Two summary points and a nice graphic to illustrate our points that people can look at and immediately understand what it is that we're talking about. Now that we've got that slide looking pretty good for our audience, you might be feeling a little bit insecure that you won't know what to say when the slide comes up. Because after all, it doesn't have reams of text that you and your audience can read. It's just got the concise bullet points. So just like Microsoft PowerPoint, Google Presentation also has a space where you can insert presenter notes. That when the presentation comes up, you've got these notes next to you that you're able to uh, speak to so that you know what to say. Let me show you how to insert those. Right down here at the bottom, you've got the, the option here to click to add notes. So I'm going to click and I'm going to just copy in the original screen text that we had. You can see it's coming with uh, all the same spelling mistakes, so let's quickly correct those. The other thing that you can do, though, is if you grab hold of this bar, you can drag it up so that you can see all of your presenter notes at once. Now, because I've taken a picture off the internet, let's just be polite and attribute where we got the picture from. It's not good to steal. So let's borrow and let's at least tell people where we borrowed it from. So let's add a text box onto the slide where we can attribute the image. So to do that, I'm going to insert a text box. I'm just going to put it anywhere for now. This picture came from the BBC website. So the attribution I'm going to use is bbc.co.uk. 
Let's make the box a little bit smaller. And I'm going to position this here to the right of the image. Perhaps make the text a little bit bigger so that it's easier to read. And there we've got the attribution for this image. Now, the last thing I want to do before we go is just to give this presentation a name. Remember, because it's a Google Doc document, in this case presentation, we don't have to specifically save. Google is saving for us all the time. But we do need to give it a name. So let's go and do that. As normal, click on the presentation name to rename it. And the name of this presentation is going to be Linear Equations. So that's all that we've got time for in this lesson. We've made a great start to creating a presentation. In the next lesson, we're going to see how to add video to really spice things up a bit. But until then, bye-bye.